I'm Sage. I'm Dana. We're the Automatic Brothers. Howdy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Tomic came to Dana and I and, and said that you know they were interested in us helping design a ski and we were really excited about that. They had an amazing line of skis already, but they definitely, uh, there was room to grow. So this ski really fits nicely in between uh, the playfulness and the twin-natured Ben Chetler and the more traditional ski like the Atlas. So this really fits in nicely with the rest of the line and offers something you know, new and uh, really versatile for people. The most important thing basically about the ski as far as like the technical features is that it's 117 underfoot so it's still like in this nice range. So the automatic has camber underfoot um, and a full powder rocker in the tip but in the tail uh, it's just a little bit of rocker so it still has a pretty stiff tail, a pretty stable tail. Um, which means when you make a turn you can still break it loose and kind of schmear and kind of like kind of move around you know the ski in a, like a more playful way but it also like will hold a solid edge and if you you know really stand on it and carve on it it'll hold all the way through your turn. So I ski the automatic all year round and um, it's just an amazing everyday powder ski it does everything in all conditions though and um, they've added the sprocket power boosters in there which is a titanium plate that just adds stability in the rocker area. The automatic has a step down sidewall, which basically is a really good way of having a little less weight to the ski, but underfoot it has very good stability. It's kind of the ski I've always been looking to have. It's sort of like a, a ski that does everything that you could possibly give to it and do it all extremely well. Kelly's coming in, so uh, that's all from the Automatic Brothers. It's time to go shred some more lines. Let's do it, buddy. <laughs>